Hello. Good morning, all of you. So in last class, we have discussed regarding construction management and entrepreneurship. Okay, in that we have discussed in detail about what is construction, then what is meant by uh, management, then what is meant by entrepreneurship. Okay, then in continuation with, with that, we have discussed regarding what is the management systems exactly working. Okay, to to create the policies or to work together within the society. So we have to understand the management in detail. Yes or no? That's why we have discussed in detail about the, what is the management systems. Yes. Then in management systems, we have discussed regarding the characteristics of management, how the management is uh, having the, uh, such uh, procedures or policies within the system so that we can ensure uh, orderly developed society, I can say. Okay. In continuation with that, we have discussed regarding the functions of management. The functions of management will play a major role in management systems. Basically, the functions are broadly classified into planning, organizing, staffing, uh, controlling, direct, directing and controlling. So these five categories will play a major role in uh, management systems, I can say. Okay. So in continuation with that, the first important thing in functions of management is nothing but the planning. Okay. I think in last class itself we have discussed regarding what is planning, how we need to do the plannings. Okay. So planning will play a major role. Even we can take some construction industries I can say, I can say or some, some small scale industries I can say or some large scale industries I can say. In any directions or in any wings of this industrial development I can say. So planning will play a major role. Even in household uh, execution of uh, projects, we have to understand the plannings in, in detail. Okay. So what is planning first. So first we need to understand the planning systems. Okay. So planning is a function of management that determines what should be done before we act. Yes. For example, if you want to do something within that before going to execute the things, being an engineer or being a management person, understanding the planning process, that is very, very important. Right? For example, I am going to construct a uh, 2 BHK residential building. So I can't able to di directly start with the construction activities I can say. First I need to prepare the plans. How my entrance should be there. Then what about the component of the buildings are there within this scenario I can say. Then what should be the interiors, what should be the exteriors, what type of wood I need to select, what type of uh, glasses, glass wares I need to select, Every, what, what should be the type of flooring I need to decide. Everything is predefined. That process is called planning. So planning is the process or functions of management that is determined at its initial stage before going to do the things. Yes, that is nothing but the planning. Then coming to the involvement or what are all the things are getting involved in planning. Yes, basically there are five categories are there or five strategies are there in this planning. So that is nothing but the parameters to be included within the planning process I can say. Right. So they are nothing but the first one is selection of an objectives. Yes. Before going to plan the things, being an engineer or being a management person or being a basic common people, I can say, they have to select their objectives. They have to clearly mention what all the objectives are there in my work or in my project, I can say. Yes. For example, I have to, uh, I have to visit a movie. Of course, we have some selection criteria for that. Of course, we are going to plan. Yes or no? Which uh, movie I need to watch today or what should be the type of or mode of transportation I need to reach to that uh, theater, I can say. So everything is and comes under planning once again. For your day-to-day -day activities, planning matters. In that, the, in that, the first major including parameter is the selection of objectives. First, we need to mention or first we need to clear the objectives. What purpose we are going to do the planning? Yes, is there aims are going to achievable? Because some objectives may not be achievable. Some objectives are dependent with each other. At the same time, some objectives are independent with each other. Yes or no? So if the objective is dependent on other parameters, once again, we have to think whether those objectives are going to achievable or not. That is the main important motto behind the selection of an objectives through the planning or to achieve the planning. Okay. Then the second one says something about the policies. Of course, nowadays uh, policies are going to play a major role because in every aspects, every individual uh, development of societal requirements, we are comes under policies. We have we have so many policies. 
Yes or no? For teaching, we have policies how to teach. That's also comes under policies. Yes or no? Some higher authorities, they have already framed the structure, framed the syllabus. Some universities have already framed the syllabus. They have already framed the entire procedure, how the uh, conduction of an classes takes place, how the flow takes place, how the exams to be conducted on that. Everything is predefined. They are nothing but the policies. Through some higher authorities, through your management wing, or through the manager, I can say, or through your managing director, I can say, or through the principal of that particular institution, the policies are already framed. And we need to work under those policies. That is also one of the major things which is comes under planning. So planning, policies, we need to concentrate while doing the plannings. Okay? Then the third bit says something about the procedures to be followed or simply the procedures. Okay? For example, if we take a single experiment, okay? so we need to conduct one experiment that is also having some procedures, yes or no? Yes, for eating, we have a procedure. Yes or no? Because it has some procedure, right? Procedure is nothing but it's the flow or steps, stepwise uh, discussion, I can say. What should be the step number one? What is step number two, three, four, so on? These steps are nothing but the procedures to be followed. Yes or no? Of course, we have traffic rules, that is the traffic procedures. Yes or no? So we have, if we have to uh, have some uh, games, it might be groups games or uh, athletics, I can say. Of course, it has some procedures. Yes, Coco should be like this. Cricket should be played like this. These are all the written statements are there. This is nothing but the procedures to be adopted within the vicinity of that activity, I can say. Similarly, for every planning, procedures will play a major role. Yes, we, do, we need to understand what type of step-by-step -step procedures or flowchart we need to follow to achieve that plans. That is one more reason behind the planning, I can say. That's the selection criteria, we can say. Okay. Then the fourth one says something about the strategies. Of course, the name itself says strategy. Nowadays, we are using this type of uh, phenomenon in every aspect. Yes, use some strategies to finish the task. Okay, even in crickets, yes, use the strategy. Yes, in politics, use the strategy. This, word, this type of strategy concept we are using in our day-to-day -day activities. How to get good marks in our exams? Yes, we have to do some strategies. Yes or no? Strategies are nothing but some logics behind that. Yes or no? So, strategy means we have to adopt some types of completion of that project or types of preparation for that particular project. And at the same time, these strategies are going to vary from person to person. Because if we allot the same work for 10 students, I can say, or for 10 engineers, I can say, all 10 engineers may or may not use the same strategies. Depends upon their mindset, depends upon their experience, depends upon their uh, work nature, or depends upon their knowledge. Yes, so the strategies are going to vary. Because the same cricket, in, if I take an example of a cricket, because cricket strategies are going to vary from captain to captain, I can say. Yes or no? So that's why in every planning, strategy will play a major role. And at the same time, of course, we need to use these strategies for orderly and progressive development of the society, I can say. Okay, if you are a stakeholder of an um, industry, of course, we have to come across some strategies for orderly development of that program. Yes, sir, even for, for bad things also, we have some strategies. Okay, that is not going to be happen. Okay, because for orderly development of the society, for orderly or progressive development of the industry, strategies are going to play a major role. And the last bit, programs to be formulated to achieve the planning. Okay, these parameters, of course, the last one says something about the programs. What type of program? Of course, everything we have detailed or everything we have planned, everything we have, have set up some procedures, we have some policies, we have selected the objectives, then how to arrange those parameters in order? That is nothing but the programs to be achieved or that the programs get involved in that particular planning. So once these five uh, selection criteria are clear with a manager or an engineer or any one person, I can say, yes, now we can directly say the planning is good. Then we have to understand how the planning should be developed on site, off site, in, in soft copy, in hard copy, something like that. That is regarding how the process takes place in further. Okay, this is regarding the processes of uh, planning, I can say. Okay, then the next part says something about importance of planning or need of planning, I can say. Why this planning is important? Yes, for example, usually if someone fails 
in execution of any projects, usually we comment that, yes, the person is not at all planned. That planning is lack of planning, I can say. Simply we will quote this statement. Yes or no? Because he has not at all concentrated their importance. He has not at all concentrated the selection criteria as behind their planning. That's why the importance of plannings or needs of plannings will play a once again major role in management systems, I can say. Once again, the importance of plannings are incorporation of these parameters, I can say. Okay. So in that, the first one says something about provides decisions or directions, I can say. Okay. Then the first one says itself is it provides the directions. What is the importance of planning? Directions. If you don't know the directions, where are you going to run? Of course, if we have to uh, face a 100 meter running, of course, someone has to give the directions. No, yes, this is my starting point. That is my end point. Yes or no? Then only we can achieve. We can have some success in our life. Yes or no? Definitely, of course, the teachers are going to play a very good uh, role in directing students. Because even though they have very good knowledge, even though they have everything, Yes, if they don't know the directions, if it, they don't know what route they have to follow, then that knowledge is not sufficient, knowledge is waste. Yes or no? That's why planning, of course, the, it provides importance of the planning, it provides the directions, which route I need to prefer. In that route, what are all the problems I may occur? Then how to face those problems? What are all the unforeseen activities we, can, we may come across? That everything we need to comes under importance of planning, that too in terms of it provides the directions, flow, I can say. Okay. Then the second point says something about it minimizes risks. Of course, nowadays in everything we have risk. As I individually we quote that, we have to take some risks. Okay, that too, within our vicinity. Yes, within our capacity, we have to take risks. We are not supposed to take more than that. Yes or no? So whatever the capacity capacity I have, I have to think up to that much, I can say. That is nothing but risk taken concepts. And at the same time, if you plan it properly, then there is a chances of minimum risks I can encounter in our execution of a project. Yes or no? Of course, we are going to be a, 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 a very good risk, risk taker. But as far as possible, I need to minimize my risks. Yes sir, why we have to take un unnecessary burden for execution of that particular project? Yes or no? That's why we have to plan properly so that I can minimize the risks. The chances are minimum, I can say. Okay. Then the next importance is it ensures the coordinations. That is also that is very very important. Nowadays everyone is uh, observing or thinking about the team work. Yes, of course we have to do team work, and at the same time a single person can't do everything. I can say if I have an institution, if I have a small scale industry, if I have my own uh, nature of um, project, I can say because depend directly or indirectly I have depended on some other parameters, some other persons. I can say. It might be in terms of men, materials, money, etc., 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 I can say. Yes or no? So at the same time, if I depend on something or if that particular task itself is dependent on other task, then the coordination will play a major role. Yes or no? If the coordination is not right, definitely we are going to lose the things. If in group games, if the coordination is not right, if the coordination is not good, definitely we are going to lose the games. No doubt. Even in life also, if the coordination is not good, if you are not going to work together with our subordinates, then definitely we may fail to achieve the project. That is nothing but lack of planning, I can say. That is nothing but it has very good coordination systems. Yes or no? So that is why if we have coordination systems within the planning, definitely we may achieve very good projects. That is why this is nothing but the importance of planning that ensures the coordinations within the subordinates, I can say. Okay, that's also one of the major importance of planning, I can say. Then the fourth point says something about leads to economy, of course. For every activities, we are expecting something. If you want to do something, if you want to invest something in some, some other places, definitely we are expecting some economy on that. Definitely we expect some returns from that. If I want to deposit some amount in banks, definitely we are expecting that after 10 years or 20 years or 50 years, I may get so and so money, which is more than that of what I have invested. Yes or no? That is nothing but returns, expecting returns. So to expect the returns, definitely economic con consideration should be going to play a major role. Yes or no? When the economy will going to be improved or when the economy is going to be improved or increased, that is nothing but important. Once you know the planning systems properly and definitely I can expect, uh, expect very good economic background, I can say, economic strategies, I can say, that is nothing but it leads to economy. 
if one person can develop, definitely that whole industry is going to be under development, I can say. Yes or no? If one industry is get developed, of course that entire village get, they get developed. If that those villages are get developed, definitely I can expect in taluka level, in district level, definitely in states wise, country wise, I can have orderly development, not absurd development, I can say. Orderly and progressive development of economic criteria of individual industry, I can say. That happens only when we understand the importance of planning. Okay. Then the next point says something about decision making. Nowadays, majority of the students are going to fail in decision making. Even though they have very good knowledge, even though they have everything in their hands, they have, they have very good futuristic plans, but they fail to ex execute the things because of improper decisions they are going to take. Because taking right decision in wrong time and wrong decision in right time, both are for, not good for our day to day activities. Yes or no? So, when we are going to on concentrate these parameters, only when you have that decision making capacity. Once you develop that decision making capacity, definitely we can say, yes, this is what the time we are going to invest that in uh, that amount in that bank, in that industry, in that shares. If you don't know that, even though we have of so much knowledge, so many of experiences, so many strength within there, within yourself, you may fail to achieve the plans, you may fail to, uh, fails, fails in your projects, I can say. That is, that's why understanding the importance of planning is very, very important in that the thing is decision making. One should have decision making. At the right time, we have to take right decisions. Okay. That comes only through the experiment, experience, I can say. Okay. Then the next point says something about innovations and creativity, I can say. Of course, nowadays, everyone is expecting innovations in everything, I can say. Even in smartphone, we are expecting innovations. Even in our teaching and learning process, we are expecting innovations. Even in our day-to-day -day cooking aspects, we are expecting some innovations. That's why these many of delicious foods are developed day-to-day, -day, I can say. Yes or no? That's why this innovations and creativity, when we are expecting the innovations and creativity, once the planning is done in a proper manner. Yes or no? Then only I can expect, yes, there is something innovations in my project. How to uh, minimize the time duration to finish the project or how to increase the loyalty of that uh, persons working in that industry or how to take my industry in a uh, very good level, I can say, or how I can develop in my own industry by adopting the creativity within the vicinity, I can say. That's also one of the major importance, I can say. Then the next point says something about it improves the morals. Nowadays, everyone thinking about the morals and ethics. Of course, in every aspects, morals and ethics will play a major role. Before morality or ethics, I can say, so the work is not going to be fulfilled. Yes or no? That's why. So how to implement that morals in our activities? That comes only through the plannings. If you have planned properly, if you understand that importance of planning, then only I can think, yes, I have to adopt some morality. I have to adopt some morals. How to behave in front of higher authorities. How to treat my subordinates. How to work together with respect to my labors. That is nothing but the morals, I can say. Knowledge is different than that of these basic qualities, I can say. Yes or no? So, that is, once you have properly or of once, once you understand the um, planning in detail, of course, it definitely improves your morals. Okay. Then the last point says something about controls. Yes, of course, these parameters are having broader sense in management systems, I can say. If you compare this concept towards the civil engineering, the criteria are going to have their own roots. If I say the, these parameters towards some other management or banking sectors, then their roots are going to be separate because they are two separate aspects, no? Yes, sir, because the investment of time, money, everything is different in both the conditions, I can say. And of course, the heads are remains the same. Only thing is their application point will going to vary from point to point, I can say. So these are nothing but the importance of planning. So the next concept we are going to discuss is types of plans. Okay? Stop. Stop, Mabri.